All right, if I just had to pick two shoes to wear, what would I pick and why? Number one shoe I would pick is the New Balance Fresh Foam More, for sure the version three. I did end up accidentally buying the version, it was either the one or the two, hated it. Like it was, uh, no cushion, no softness whatsoever. Version three, and I've heard the version four, which I think is just coming out. Um, it, they're just as nice. So here are the reasons why this shoe is number one. This, I keep going back to the shoe. Whenever I'm doing a long run or an easy beep bopper where I just want to save my legs, or I beat up my legs and I want something to feel so much better, I keep going back to this New Balance Fresh Foam More version three. Um, the main reason is of the how much cushion it has. I mean, you can see tons of cushion, but something else, I mean, I've, I've worn Hoka's, I've worn some other shoes, which are nice, but these, um, they feel like they give better energy return where I can actually pick up the pace in these. Um, and they seem light, lighter weight than other high stack shoes. So hands down, long runs, easy runs, just regular training, I would 100%. In fact, you can see the tread on these. I've got put a lot of miles on these. And uh, my last half marathon, I won a $25 gift card to the St. George Running Center. And when I had to think about what shoe I wanted to get, that's the shoe I'm going to get. I'm gonna use, they are expensive, but I am going to spend my money on those. So um, that's the first shoe. Second shoe that I keep going back to, and this one was a hard one because I was debating between you know, I'm just gonna talk about it. The Saucony Endorphin Speed. Um, I believe this is the version two. I've heard I, that version three, they might even have a version four. I've heard those are just as nice. So I would say any sort of Endorphin Speed, regardless of the version, they are incredible. Um, I've used these for races. Um, I use these for my speed work. I use those for tempo days. Um, these are like, they are, you can use these shoes for so many different reasons. Uh, if I were to pick one shoe, if I only had to pick one shoe, it would be this shoe. If I only had enough money or I was a high schooler or somebody who you could only really get one shoe, Saucony Endorphin Speed would be the shoe I'd pick. All right, so main reasons for this is it is very, for me, very forgiving where uh, I can run long miles in it and my legs don't get destroyed. Um, and very springy, it has the, the nylon plate, so it springs you forward, um, which is absolutely incredible. You can pick up the pace and it feels incredible in these shoes. Um, they aren't the most stable, so I actually have um, these, uh, since I do pronate, I have these stability, uh, medium stability inserts in them. So they're not super stable, um, but I haven't had any issues since I put those inserts in there. All right, the main, other main reason why I was about to say, I was debating between these or the Nike Next Percent 2. Nike Next Percent 2, I would hands down race in those over these. Um, it's not even a question. But I would not be able to get nearly as much as far as how much training. I've gotten probably, I'm guessing I'm in the 300, 400 miles in these shoes and this tread looks like brand new. Um, these things just don't seem to ever wear down. So I feel like as far as the actual foam, the tread, 
the how they're holding up these shoes are going to last forever um, they lasted a lot longer than these new balance fresh foam version threes have so yeah i mean when i had to think about it for any sort of new runner or if you've been running for a while and you want to have some sort of running lineup you can get anything you want out of those two shoes as far as road racing. Um, trail running, different thing. Track running, different thing. As far as just daily training, just uh, half marathons, even marathons, 100%. I would use those two, two shoes to train for that and I could do whatever I wanted uh, in those two. So, just trying to save you some money um, and then just go through my experience, what's worked for me, and hopefully that will work for you. Um, just so that way you're not, uh, you know, trying to figure it out and spending a lot of money figuring out what works for you. Um, after doing a lot of reviews online and YouTube uh, shoe reviews, I haven't heard really anybody speak negatively about these two shoes, so it seems like Overall, well-roundedness for all different types of runners, these two shoes are going to be incredible for, incredible for you. So, that's it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go, at some point I'm gonna go through like my full rotation, how I use them. Eventually, I'm gonna go through my trail running shoes and then Spartan Race, what I use to train for Spartan races. Um, but for just daily running on the road, 100% these two shoes. So, all right, as always, let's drive together.